Okay. Friends, thank you for tuning in. Okay, so this is another episode of the Logic Pro for the Blind. And if you've been checking out these videos as of late, thank you so much. Appreciating the feedback and the emails and some of the comments you guys have been leaving on the posts and videos. I want to make sure that I can help you. And the only way we can do that is if you help me help you. So what are we doing today? Today's video is we're going to take another glance at making some music. However, we're going to kind of dive into some mixing, moving some volumes up and down, panning stuff left and right, so on and so forth. So we're going to be looking at the Inspector on Logic Pro 10.6. And uh, as you heard the music in the beginning, that is the project we're going to be messing with. So first things first, let's orient ourselves with our interface and with what we've got going on. And yeah, we'll begin into rock and roll. So if you haven't already, please give this video a like, give me a comment, and subscribe if you want more of these, because I plan to do more of them. They're fun. I like it because it's fun for me, but it's more importantly, more fun for you, because it helps you. It gives you nourishment or something like that. I, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Let's get to the point of the video and rock and roll. So I'm going to press enter here. One bar, one beat, one division, one Okay, we're going to pause that for now, one bar, but we're going to press enter to bring us back to the beginning of the playhead. Now we can use our up and down arrow keys to go through the various tracks that we have on this project. Track three bass. So track I'm going to press up arrow to bring me to the track top. Two. Track one, get good drums. Okay. Track two, massive X. Track three bass. Track three bass. Track four, hybrid keys. Okay, so we've got four tracks to mess with. Track three bass. Track two, massive X. Track one, get good drums. So one bar, I'm going to press enter again just for habit, and let's solo this track and practice using some of these transport controls like soloing and muting. So we're going to press spacebar to play. One beat, one division, one and we're going to solo. Toggle channel. Okay, we're good. Toggle channel. Let's mute it. Toggle channel. Excellent. Let's go down. Track to massive X. Melodic pad. And our melodic pad. Soloed. That's pretty. Do you feel like you're flying? I feel like I'm flying when I hear stuff like this. All right, we're going to unsolo that Toggle channel strip solo by pressing off. S, and then we'll mute it by pressing M. Toggle. Now we've got is our hybrid keys piano in the background. Toggle channel. Okay, we'll press M to unmute that. 19 bar. Track three bass. Bass. One bar. Or one beat. I used a Rickenbacker bass from the uh, Complete Control series that I have. I don't necessarily have reach to my electric base at the moment. All that is being shipped across the country for a move coming up. So a softer one will do. So we're going to unsolo that. Toggle channels, Chris. 13. Okay. Without further ado, let's take a look at our inspector. First, I want to mess with the drums, okay? So we're going to press up arrow. Track two, massive. Track one, get good drums. To the get good drums, which I recommend 100%. This is not an ad. It's more of a, hey, this is really good stuff. Getgooddrums.com. Uh, go get yourself a version of Massive or Modern and Massive from Get Good Drums. Some of the best samples out there right now in the market. Tracks group. Okay, so we're going to get out. We're going to make sure we're not interacting with anything by doing VO shift up arrow. And we're going to do VO end. Tracks group. Okay, there's our tracks group. We don't want to go in there right now. We want to VO left. Inspector group. To our inspector. Okay, so we're going to VO down. In inspector group. Eight items expanded. Disclosure triangle. Okay, and I always VO end to here. And remember, if I say VO, I'm referring to the keys control and option in conjunction with another modifier key or letter or number to... Uh, move around with the voiceover cursor. So um, feel free to familiarize yourself with that. Um, and if you haven't already, please check out the first two videos for Logic Pro for the blind. Okay, so let's do a VO end. Mixer layout area. And here's our mixer layout area. This is something we need to get familiar with. A little bit different from previous versions of Logic. Right away, it usually just showed the track, and you can use the up and down arrow to kind of navigate through, but they've changed things a bit here with these last couple of versions of Logic Pro. However, if you're familiar with the older versions, it's not going to be too difficult to re-familiarize yourself with these new ones. So, let's run along, my friend, and get into the meadow of doom. That was bad. Uh, so, mixer layout area. We're going to interact with this by doing a VO shift down arrow. In mixer layout area, two items get good drums partially hidden. Channel strip group. Okay, so the channel strip group. This is important. Channel strips are what. 
contains our effect chains, our volumes and our pans and our mutes and our solos, so on and so forth. If you have a MIDI controller, you can configure that uh, device to manipulate these controls from the MIDI controller itself. Uh, that may be another video for another time. However, it's still good to at least familiarize yourself with what this will look like. So if you've if you would like, please go back to the first video where uh, I do a little walkthrough with this channel strip. So, but let's get into it. So let's do a VO shift down. And get good drums, partially hidden, channel strip group. Okay, we're just going to do a yep. basic walkthrough of these items. Please Name feel text. free to pause the video and uh, do deeper exploration if you would like, but we're just going to do a quick overview. So VO home. Off. Library indicator. No button. Setting button. Off. Gain reduction meter. Switch. Off. EQ button. MIDI plugin button. Off. Library indicator. Contact button. Contact group. And I'm going to turn my voiceover uh, speech rate just down just a 65 tad. 60%. Okay. Audio plugin button. Bus 4 group. Semicolon infinite. Send knob. Circular slider. Bus 3 group. Minus 28.0. Send knob. Circular slider. Send button button. Stereo output button. Off group. Group button. Automation group. Zero. Pan. Circular slider. Off 0.0. .0. Volume 0.0, .0 text on 5.3 peak but 0.0, .0 decibels volume fader off mute switch off solo switch get good drums name tag get good drums okay that about does it for the channel strip so uh, some of the biggest things you're gonna want to familiarize yourself with is the audio plugin button that we heard earlier uh, that'll bring you to a list of available effects so on and so forth so we can do more of that at some point however we want to mess with volumes and panning. Tracks. So first things One first. Volume. Track tracks. Oop, I got it. And and something you will notice sometimes voiceover will get out of focus with your inspector. So if that does happen and you're not sure where you are, Tra tracks tracks group. Like voiceover, for instance, just put me back into the tracks group, and that'll occasionally happen. So you got to be quick on your feet sometimes with some of the exploration, some exercises, kind of going through, so you can quickly get back. So we're gonna do a VO shift up arrow, step into acting, tracks, VO end, inspector, VO left into inspectors, okay, VO shift down, in inspector, group. and then we're gonna go to the end, mixer layout area, get into the mixer, VO shift down, in mixer layout area, two items, get good, and drum. here's our get good drums. And get good drums. Channel strips. Now I'm going to do VO end get to get drums. to the end of this channel strip. Get good drums. Name. And then I'm going to go left to volume. Off, off. 0, 0 decibels. Volume fader. Slide. Okay. So I'm going to press space. Here. Three bars two. Okay. So let's say for this instance, I'm going to turn it down two decibels. Okay. I'm going to interact with this slider that is on the, that is on the voiceover cursor itself by doing a VO shift down arrow. Slider. Okay, in slider, now I can do VO left or VO right to change uh, left for uh, negatives and um, right for positives. So we're going to go to the left. Minus 1.0 decibels. Minus 2.0 decibels. Perfect. Let's do a space. Perfect. Okay, Seven. I like it. However, that bass guitar is a little bit loud and it does lack some compression. So, But for this video, we're just going to focus on volumes right now. Uh, I will add a little bit of compression in here. I'm using third-party applications, so uh, the Logic does have some fairly usable um, stock plugins that work with compression and such, so maybe we could take a uh, bigger look at that here in a little bit. But let's go down to the bass guitar. So we are done with our friend Get Good. So we're going to stop interacting with where we are and do a VO shift up. Out of slider. Okay, VO shift up again. Out of Get Good drums. Okay, very good. Okay, so now we're going to go down. Track two massive X melodic pack track three bass. Okay, if I'm a bass in text bass, I'm gonna interact. Bass. Oops, I interacted with the text. All right, so we're gonna do a VO shift up to get out of this. Out of text. Okay. Bass name tap off solo. Spread. Oh, looks like we're already in the channel strip. Excellent. Okay, so same as before, we're gonna VO left over to that. Uh, off Mute. volume control. Zero point zero decibels. Volume fader. Okay, and we're gonna interact with that. Insider. Press space bar to be listening. I'm going to turn this down Minus 1, 0 decimal. 1 decimal. Bring it down maybe. <laughs> okay, so let's say you want to go by uh, tenths of a decibel. It's a fair point. So the way we do that is we add shift to the uh, option and control keys. So let's do that. So we're going to play it. Four, oh, well, I'm going to press one bar, one. enter. Bring me back to the track. Um, I'll turn cycle on too. Cycle mode on. 
Okay, by doing that, we press the letter C and it'll repeat itself with the region of audio or MIDI that is currently selected. So it'll just keep playing over and over and over and over again. And this is good if you need to perfect something, if you're working on a vocal take and you just wanna do some practice, so on and so forth, or if you're trying to listen to something. And an example is what we're doing right now, mixing. Come on, Tony, you should know this. Okay, so going back to this, we're gonna be doing the uh, fraction of a decibel. So uh, we're gonna press space. One bar, one beat, one and I'm gonna do VO, shift, left arrow. Minus 1.1 decibel, minus 1.2 decibel, minus 1.3 decibel, minus 1.5. I like it. Three bar. Okay, we're gonna press space to stop that or pause that rather. Okay, so next. Untried old. Pro untried old. Oh, Project logic. Space. This is what happens when you accidentally hit buttons. Untried old. Project untried old. Track. Untried old. Untried dimmed. Untitled. Log logic Pro. Okay. One bar. One bar. So let's say for shits and gigs, we want to pan this bass guitar. Okay. One. I'm gonna solo it with the S. Out of slider. And I'm gonna feel left over to my pan knob. Off minus 5.1. Off 0, 0.0. 0. Pan circular. In circular slide. 10, 20, 30. Four bars. Okay, and same as before. If you wanna move it to the right, you do VO right. If you wanna go left, you do VO left. Okay? And it jumps by tens. However, again, let's say you want to go in by individual numbers. Come on, I'm done to this 10 shit. Okay, to do that, we would add a shift. So let's one bar one. enter space. One bar one. 29, 28, 27, 27, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 8, 17. And as expected, it moves for us. All right, let's unsolo. Toggle channel. 7, minus 3, min minus 1, 0. I'm going to keep it right in the middle where it needs to be. Okay, I like how it sounds. It's a basic mix, a little dry. Could use some compression, okay? So, here's what I'm gonna do. Track two Massive X, Melodic, track one Get Good Drums. Track, track three bass. Let's add some compression to that bass because there are moments in that audio where it peaks and we don't want that. We want it to be very smooth and kind of laid out. So let's jump to a built-in compressor on Logic. Out of collapse table. Massive X melodic pan. Where are we at? Alright, let's stop interacting. Out of inspector. Track four hybrid keys. Make sure we're on our base. Track three base. Excellent. Okay, let's do an interaction with that. In inspector. Group. Expanded. Disclosure. Mixer. Base. Mixer. In mixer. Layout. Base partially hidden. Channel strip. Group. Okay, get inside there. In okay, now we're on the far left side of this inspector. Base. We're gonna Name go to the right. Base. base. Name text. It already brought me there, so let's do a VO home. Off. Live. <laughs> or excuse me, brought me to the right. It, uh, it has a mind of its own sometimes, I swear. Either that or I'm just an idiot. Okay, so let's move to the right. Set it off, off. Eek MIDI plugin button off. Library complete K audio plugin button. Audio plugin, that's Actions exactly available. what we want. So we need to do a VO space. Menu check mark, no plugin. Okay, now we're gonna down arrow. Recent, de true verb, channel, e waves tune, the answer, amps and pedal, delay, distortion, dynamics, submenu, EQ, submenu, filter, submenu. Kind of go through the effects for one moment just to give you an idea of what you're looking at. Imaging, submenu, metering, modulation, multi effects, pitch, submenu, reverb, submenu, specialized, submenu, utility, submenu, audio units, submenu. Okay. Check mark, no plugin. All right, so let's go back to Check the top. Mark, no All right, fantastic. We need to go to dynamics. So I'm going to press D. D, yes, sir. S, submenu. D again, doesn't work, that's okay, sometimes that'll happen. We just manually navigate to it. So let's do a VO down arrow or just regular down Amps arrow. Amps and pad delay, distortion, dynamics. Okay, right arrow. Dynamics, compressor, submenu. Exactly, okay, so now let's do a right arrow into this. Compressor, submenu, stereo. Okay, so. Dual mono. It's gonna give us options here, dual mono or stereo. For any audio heads out there, you kind of get an idea of what's going on. But stereo, stereo is including both the left and right channels, and dual mono just means the effect is gonna be focused on both uh, individual channels versus the whole stereo channel itself it's like focusing on a group or just one at a time dual mono stereo so we want stereo ba base dialogue base dialogue base okay so it brings us to another window that pops up so um with all most effects on logic 
you're going to have built-in presets that you can mess with to kind of get an idea of how these fancy dynamic controls work. So once you get comfortable, you can manually make one yourself. Hallelujah. Okay, so let's feel right. Toolbar, button, bypass, check, factory default. Prop button. Okay, it's going to say factory default. To go through presets on these windows, you press the left and right bracket right above the enter key, directly to the left of backspace. Okay, so let's do that. And while we do it, we're going to solo out our Target bass. Channel, solo, classic drums. One bar one. That's too much. Pressed it. Let's check what it's called. Bypass, drum mix. Problem. Drum room. Problem. Fed lip drums. By opto drum kit. Opto tom. By rock kick. Problem. I like how pronounced it makes that bass guitar. A little more clarity to it, brings the peak up, So, but it made it a little bit louder. That's okay. This is why we're doing mixing. So now we can go back and turn it down a little bit and let the compression do its natural job. So I'm going to press Command-W. Close out that window. Bass. Off. Off. Mute. Okay, Switch. we're still in our inspector, which is great. So we're going to VO left. Minus 1.5 decibels. Over to the volume, and let's bring it down 2 decibels. So Insider. let's interact, do a VO shift down, and VO left twice. Minus 2.5, minus 3.5 decibels. Excellent. One bar Enter, bring us back to the beginning, space bar to play. One bar. I love it. Okay, guys, on that note, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, do the subscription thing. Give it a share if you really like, and let me know what kind of stuff you want to see with Logic Pro for the blind. New playlist. Glad it's taken off. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Have a groovy day.